How to Take Care of a Betta Fish If you're looking for a beautiful pet that's relatively easy to care for, then a betta fish may be the one for you. Also known as, Siamese fighting fish, for the territorial nature of the males, betta fish can make great pets as long as you set up the right environment, and avoid putting two males in the same tank. If you're wondering how to best take care of your betta fish, we've answered some of the most common questions that folks ask to help you out. Are betta fish easy to care for? Bettas are easier to take care of than other types of fish. The truth is all pets require care and attention, so there really aren't any easy pets. But because they need less space and are hardier than other types of fish, bettas often don't require as much work and maintenance. Plus, because they live in freshwater, it's easier to set up and maintain an aquarium for betta fish. In fact, betta fish have a special, labyrinth, organ that allows them to take breaths of air from the surface so they can actually survive in water with lower oxygen levels. Pretty neat. Betta fish are also beautiful and usually inexpensive, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. What is the best size tank for a betta fish? A tank between 2.5 to 5 gallons, 9.5 to 18.9 L, is the best choice. Betta fish love to swim around and explore and they don't need a ton of room to do it. However, your tank needs to be at least 2.5 gallons, 9.5 L. So the environment is nice and healthy and your betta feels more at home and able to exhibit natural, normal behavior. 3. Do betta fish need rocks in their tank? Yes, gravel can help regulate the environment of your tank. A layer of gravel at the bottom of your betta's tank will allow healthy bacteria to grow that will help break down waste that builds up in the environment. Gravel also helps hold down any decorations or plants that you add to the tank. Just make sure you choose gravel that's specially designed for fish tanks. While fish tank gravel comes in a variety of colors and sizes, go with finer gravel that's a natural color, which will help prevent injuries and reduce your betta's stress levels. How can I make my betta fish happy? Add fish-safe ornaments and plants to their tank. Not only will decorations like ornaments and real or fake plants make your tank look nicer, but they also give your betta places to hide if they're feeling stressed out. Only use decorations designed for use with fish and try not to overcrowd your betta so they still have plenty of room to swim around and explore their environment. If you choose fake plants, make sure the leaves are made of silk and not sharp plastic so your betta won't accidentally injure themselves. Add other betta safe fish and animals to the tank. You can liven up your fish tank by adding animals like mystery snails, ghost shrimp, and African dwarf frogs. You can also add fish like guppies, cori catfish, and neon tetras. Just make sure you choose fish that aren't super territorial and whatever you do, never put another male betta fish in the same tank. Betta fish males will almost always fight and injure each other. How do I condition my betta fish water? Add water conditioner to regular tap water. Tap water is the most commonly used water for betta fish tanks, the only problem is that most cities add chlorine and other chemicals to sanitize it. These chemicals can be harmful to your betta, so it's important that you add a water conditioner designed for fish tanks to make it safe. Fill your tank with tap water and add the water conditioner according to the directions on the packaging. A common ratio is to add 0.5 to 1 teaspoon, 2.5 to 4.9 milliliters, of water conditioner for every 10 gallons, 38 L, of water. But check the packaging to be sure. Never use distilled or purified water to fill your tank. It can be really harmful to your fish. What is the best pH for betta fish? The best pH range for betta fish is between 6.5-7.5. Along with the temperature of the water in your betta's tank, the pH is also super important. If it's too acidic or too basic, it can affect the health of your fish. Test the pH level of your tank's water with a pH meter or litmus paper test weekly to monitor it. If you need to raise or lower the pH, there are a variety of ways you can do it. You can oxygenate the water to raise the pH level, or add bogwood to your tank to lower the pH. Check out your local fish supply store for pH raising and lowering products you can use that are designed for fish tanks. How do you take care of a betta fish for beginners? 1. Make sure the water is between 76 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. Consistent water temperature that doesn't fluctuate is ideal. If the water gets either too hot or too cold, it can affect the health of your betta fish. Use a thermometer to check the temperature of the water regularly to make sure it's staying balanced and in a healthy range. 
Where you place your bed as tank can affect the water temperature. If you live somewhere that's especially cold, you may need to add an aquarium heater to your tank. 2. Keep the tank covered and out of direct sunlight. Betta fish are notorious jumpers. They'll leap right out of their aquariums and could end up trapped outside of it. Always keep the lid covered. Additionally, choose a location for your tank that will help keep the temperature consistent and won't expose your betta to too much of the sun's rays. Somewhere like a desk, shelf, or counter should work fine as long as it's not in full sun. 3. Feed your betta a floating pellet once a day. There's a common misconception that betta fish can survive by eating parts of the roots of plants in their tank, but this isn't true. Your betta needs proper nutrition just like any other fish. Use feeding pellets that are designed for fish and give your betta one a day so they have enough to eat. Try to avoid overfeeding your betta, which can be harmful to both them and their tank. If you give your fish too much food, the feed can break down and add to the gunky buildup in your tank. You can find fish feed pellets at your local pet supply shop. How often do I need to clean my betta fish tank? Do a partial water change once a week. A water cycle involves draining 10 to 20 percent of the water in your tank and replacing it with clean, conditioned water. It helps reduce toxins and ammonia in the tank. At least once a week, drain some of the water out of the tank and fill it back up with conditioned water to help maintain a healthy environment for your betta fish. Replace the water once a month to reduce toxin levels. Gently scoop your betta fish out of the tank and place them into a container with conditioned water drain all of the water out of your tank. You can also wipe down the glass of the tank to remove any gunk. Refill the tank with conditioned water and then reintroduce your fish back into it. A full water change will make sure toxins never build up to levels that could harm your fish and also help keep the glass and tank clean. Can betta fish live in a bowl without a filter? No, it can cause harmful toxins to build up in betta fish. While you may have seen betta fish kept in small fish bowls without any filtration systems, it's actually not a good environment for them. The water can quickly build up with toxins that can be harmful to the fish and a small fish bowl won't give a betta the swimming room they love. If you do choose a fish bowl for your betta, make sure it holds at least 2.5 gallons, 9.5 L, of water and add a water filter to keep it clean and hospitable. Don't forget like and subscribe my channel and click on bell button for more videos.